What's up everyone? It's Ice Man Oz, aka J, and in today's video, I'm back with another episode of Mailbox. This is basically the series where you leave me a question in the comment section below and I answer it. First question today comes to us from Naza99. Is there any chance that a Battlefield 5 will come out with a new graphics engine, possibly Frostbite? Greetings from Argentina. So my thought on this honestly is that I think they're going to go with a new engine. Battlefield 5 is being rumoured to be coming out in 2018. In fact, it's in pre-production right now, so if you've seen my Battlefield 5 video, um, the uh, Armageddon one, you will know that the game is in pre-production. So we don't quite know what engine it's going to be on. Are they going to make the Frostbite 4 engine? Are they going to, you know, just completely ditch it and start over? The reason they might start over is because of Battlefield 4. Now, a lot of people have been blaming the net code on, you know, the rubber banding and everything, but the other theory going around online and just in the general community is that it could be the engine that itself causing the problems, and that is actually very viable. Um, that was actually one of my theories, that, you know, um, the graphics are being pushed so hard on this outdated engine that now players are starting to see the repercussions of that, so um, it will be interesting to see what engine runs Battlefield. Five. And the next question comes to us from Lawrence McDonald with possibly, possibly, I'm just going to say this right now, possibly the best uh, thumbnail ever on YouTube. He has like the I and then the love and then the IMA logo. Uh, what can I say? Anyway, hey Jay, what is your favorite gadget in Battlefield 4 and why? I'd have to say the D-fibs, <laughs> and anyone who's played with me wouldn't be surprised me saying that. I love the D-fibs, I love me medic. Uh, but, uh, I don't know, C4. I I'll say C4. If, if I'm not gonna have defibs, it'll be C4 because it is so much fun blowing up stuff. What more can you ask for, right? The next question comes to us from the Legacy Clan PS3. How far are you hoping to bring your YouTube channel? Now, this is a question I get asked a lot, and to be honest with you, I do not know what I want from my YouTube channel. When I first started, I just did it for fun and stuff, and I still do it for fun, but uh, I I'm starting to see now that there's a possibility for more, and I don't know whether I want to go down that path or not, but uh, in any case, I am always going to have fun with my channel, and in terms of channel growth, I mean, I'm happy with what I'm getting now, like, um, I get views and and the growth I'm getting right now is more than channels with like 100k subs and uh, And to know that there are channels out there right now who like you know sub to themselves or view bot and all this stuff I'm one of those people that have done it legitimately and that's what I'm proud of that I've never had to stoop to any you know YouTube crap, you know, I've, I've done it legitimately and, and I have a fan base that, you know, supports my videos and that's, and that's what's really cool. I don't really care about the numbers or anything, you know, I'm, ha I'm as happy now as I was when I had 300 subs, so, um, so the fact that I've brought my channel this far is, is an accomplishment in my opinion. And the final question today comes to us from James Wood. Hi Iceman Oz, you don't really have an Australian accent from an American point of view, which th this comment has a lot of thumbs up. I don't know if that's a question or a statement, but, <laughs> but I wanted to put it in this video just because I thought it was an interesting discussion point. And it's something that I see a lot of people say, like, you know, they'll be like, oh, you're from Australia, really? I, I don't know why that's surprising. Um, I, I, I don't get it, but, you know, some people say I'm from the US, some people say I'm from Britain. I'm from wherever you want me to be. I, I, could, <laughs> I could care less. But what I will say is I've had the opportunity to be in other countries and to meet different cultures and to pick up different uh, languages and accents and stuff. So that's kind of why you might be hearing other accents within my accent if that's not too confusing, if you understand what I mean. So, um, yeah, I pick up a lot of different accents, a lot of different voices, and I'm not your typical sounding Australian. Australians normally sound something like, Oi, mate, you wanna put a shrimp on the barbie? They, they can't sound like that. I, I don't sound like that. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much all the questions I have for today. If you have a question for me, leave it in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to answer it for the next video. But that's pretty much it from me, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and peace.